Morning YouTube, Espresso Neanderthal here. I'm going to do a little bit of a uh, review today on some masks, more of a comparison really. Vintage versus modern. Now how vintage? 1983. Kind of rare to have a mask from 1983. This one was purchased in the summer of 83 in Rome in Italy, of all places. Still has the original rubber strap the rubber has not deteriorated to the point that it's useless. It's in fact still a mask to dive in, although I almost never do. I'm trying to preserve it as much as I can. This is a Scuba Pro, tempered. There's the only markings on it. Surprisingly, for a mask of that era, it looks relatively modern. I'm going to take it for a bit of a snorkel free dive today and compare it with my new modern and favorite mask, this Viper from Mary's. Ultra low profile, tech diving, scuba diving, uh, free diving mask. Fantastic. I've got a couple of others to compare it to. This would probably be more reasonable a comparison. Um, this liquid skin mask. Of course, silicone has advantages over rubber. We all know that the rubber era is over and for good reason. Uh, but back then, that's what they had. So, um, you know, what can I say? This one has weathered rather well. I think uh, we'll be pleasantly surprised by the performance of this. Uh, a lot of modern masks, the designs come and uh, change every so many years, and everyone tries to reinvent the wheel. In the end, it's a rubber skirt with a frame, or frameless in some cases, and a lens or two. That's all it is. How much innovation can we really have? We're going to find out. We're going to compare these masks in the lake and uh, I'll give you guys my thoughts afterward. Well, we're back from our little dive. And guess what? It's awesome. <laughs> Every bit as good as a modern mask. In fact, if it didn't have this old deteriorated rubber, it's only downfall in my opinion. Uh, I'd still be using it all the time. Would it be my favorite freediving mask? No, obviously it's not a specifically designed freediving mask, although the volume is fairly low. I mean, I wouldn't hesitate to freedive down 80 feet with this thing. Snorkel down to 80 feet, that's not real freediving now, is it? Anyway, um, I did worry a little about losing it in the lake. The strap is showing signs of age, a little bit of cracking. But look at it, buckle swivels. Uh, Pretty rudimentary adjustment. None of these clicky, clickety little uh, modern buckles with their cool names, but whatever. It works actually better than most of the modern buckles. Surprised. Now, how much money does one need to spend on a quality mask? I'll tell you what. Buy the best you can afford. Always don't cheap out. This was at that time in 1983 probably the most expensive mask in the shop and uh, it's lasted. This isn't exactly a cheap mask either these days uh, probably hopefully even though it's now made in China it should last. It turns out that since 1983 to 2017 the wheel has not gotten any rounder who would have thought? You wouldn't want the manufacturers uh, to hear that, would you? I bet they'd be all up in arms having spent all that money on modern technology. I mean marketing. Hey, blast from the past. Love it. Absolutely love it. Had a great time swimming with this thing. It's awesome. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Talk to you later.